What's going on guys, I'm Sabarai and I'm back here to bring you another video today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a, another gold video. I know I already did one, but this one I want to go a little more in depth on a couple topics that I didn't really cover too well in the first one. So this is going to be uh, how to make gold too, I guess. Um, and um, I talked about gold gems in my first video, but I didn't talk about them very in depth. And I wanted to do that here because they're probably the biggest part of making gold and you can see I have a lot of gold gems I have about five and they're all pretty high level except for the 11% one <laughs> but these things are gonna really really help you and mine add up to about hundred and thirty percent so that's gonna more well over double the amount of gold I would normally get and that is really really nice and it really helps you get gold and um, I mean you really gotta get those gems and just keep grinding for those gems and forging them to get better ones because that's really going to be the big thing, getting a lot of gold, having tons of those gems. I mean, and you can also grind the axe. There's a couple good axes to grind um, for gold. Some of them are really good. And also, you can get these drop gold bag gems. Those are really, really good as well. And um, you, those will really, really help you out with dropping more gold. And then coupling those with the gold plus percent gems makes more drops occur and then each drop is worth more gold so it just it's like come pile those two together to get the maximum gold you want it's really really nice and um so yeah that duel that uh that those two gems them together is a really unstoppable team and you can grind act five i said that in my first video but i mean it's it's a it's still a good method um, and also Uriel's Dream is a good one because it has a chest at the very beginning that tends to give a lot of gold. But yeah, Act 5 is also good as well. Those are probably the two best ones. You can grind these. Um, the Broken Tower with Issa. Um, I mean, I don't like playing as Issa, so I don't really try to go with her missions. Stockpile has a medium chest, but it's not the best. Um, not really. Um, I mean, you have to buy those with battle chips, and you, the battle chips are a limited resource. And then you can do this other... Uh, mission. I mean, it has a couple chests that you might want to try. I mean, maybe if you're bored, <laughs> the other ones. And then, of course, the Vault of Tears. But that's that's not really. I mean, the best ones are obviously going to be Act 5 and Uriel's Dream. And then, I mean, Tomb of Ruin, you can do that one. But it's not. I don't really recommend it. Like I said, I recommend the Act 5 Ascension and the Act 1 Uriel's Dream. But yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to do this because I wanted to go a little more in-depth on a couple topics I didn't cover in the first video. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Saburai, and I am out.